full of honey on yogurt every morning. So wow. I actually do think it, it does make a difference. It doesn't get rid of things, but it can make a difference. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, Pleasure. Uh, Jill Turley, you're you're one of the musicians with Boxall Bedlam, the, the Morris side that's going to be playing here. And yep. Dancing here. And I see you've got a case that's either got a small machine gun in it or possibly a, a fiddle. It's got a fiddle. <laughs> it's got a fiddle. It has been stocked at customs before and I've had to take it out and show them. But, yeah. So, so what's the, the line-up with the music for the, uh, the Morris side? Mm, well, we have Alex with his mandolin and um, we'll have Bev with the drum, but we're actually very short of musicians today. They're on holiday. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I should say good afternoon. Um, welcome here to the plough, to the side of press. At line. We are Box Hill Bedlam, obviously from Box Hill. This is a dance called Frimfield. Alex Harden, you're one, one of the other musicians with Box Hill Bedlam, and I believe it's the mandolin, isn't it? Yeah, an octave mandolin today. It's like a mandolin, but bigger. Yeah, gives you a bit more middle, a bit more bass. Yeah, it's handy when you've got no fiddle player, you know, to play a bit of melody and a bit of backing. Have you been interested in this kind of music for a long time? I got into traditional music. I was driving through London once and listening to a really obscure radio station and uh, this Irish track came on. I had no idea it was an Irish track, but just this diddly diddly music came on and I actually had to pull the car over and sh shazam it. And it sort of led to me getting a mandolin and, and getting sucked into the whole thing. <laughs> Sarah, Friday, you're one of the dancers, but I hear you have another role within the, uh, the Morris side here. Yes, I do. I'm actually known as the bag, and I can be a bit of a bag sometimes because I'm <laughs> the person who tries to keep everybody in the right place at the right time, organises all the dancers out, makes sure that we've got all our sticks and so on and so forth. So, yes. Now, I did see a programme on television a while ago that, uh, about Morris dancing, and mm -hmm. it was uh, lamenting the fact that women were being allowed to join some of these Morris sides. Is, is that an obstacle that's now been overcome? Uh, well, that's more the Cotswold Morris. Ah, right. um, so Cotswold Morris are the people that you see dancing, usually wearing white, and they often have bells and tabards on. We're actually Border Morris. Um, which, so border, border, which border is that? Uh, the Welsh Borders. Oh, right. So Border Morris, we tend to be a bit darker, and Border Morris sides generally have women in them. Even the Cotswold sides actually are, are now attracting more women but the real traditionalists still stick to male only dancers. But there's lots of other Morris types as well. There's Molly Morris which comes from East Anglia. There's clog dancers from Lancashire. Yep. Um, the cloggies. The that's yeah. correct. So yes and, and a lot of them are mixed sides now and all single set sides actually but most of them are mixed these days. We're actually Box Hill Bedlam so our colours are black and green. Green for the um, box yes, trees exactly. on Box Hill. Can't see very much green. No, it's, it's mostly black, black yeah. most black, but the green for the box for the box trees on Box I Hill. <laughs> Thank you. 
Rochelle Ferguson, you're the so-called squire of this Morris side. What does that involve? Um, being the squire is essentially cat herding, <laughs> making sure we're all in the right place at the right time uh, when we're doing dance outs, making sure people know what time and choosing what dances we're actually going to do. Right. Do you know what you're going to be doing today? Um, I, I'm kind of making it up on the spot a bit today, so I'm not sure how many people we've got, but hopefully we've got another dancer cycling over from um, Dorking and we're going to play some traditional things and some that we've written ourselves. Right, so you make you make up your own music as well as, as, as the dancers do? We don't really make our own music. Largely it's um, traditional old folk tunes, which I don't know a huge amount about, but our musicians know lots about them. <laughs> I think lots of Morris sides tend to play the same kind of tunes, um, but have different dancers to them. There's, and it's interesting to see that this Morris side isn't made up entirely of men of a certain age, which some of them are. <laughs> uh, is this a deliberate policy, or is it some of the, the, the younger women who've actually been the driving force behind this? We are, to be honest, we're mostly female dancers, but um, yeah, traditionally Morris didn't allow women, and I'm not sure when it did, but <laughs> we've, yeah, we're just pretty open minded, we'll let anyone join, as long as you can hold a rhythm. <laughs> And uh, is it very seasonal? I mean, do you, do you do stuff during the winter as well? Or is this your swan song for the summer season? Or how does that work? This is pretty much the last thing we're going to do for the summer, this kind of our closing thing. And then we do a few other bits over winter. We'll do kind of Christmas festivals. And the big thing we do in winter is the wassail, yes. which is the pagan festival to um, bless the harvest. So we'll hold that in January. And we tend to dance on the equinoxes as well. So our last one was, one, yeah, we've yeah. just done one. And then we'll take a bit of a break until... And do you gather up on the top of uh, Box Hill for May the 1st? We, um, <laughs> we, we some, do. <laughs> some do, really hardcore Morris sides do tend to get up that early, so you have to be, I think traditionally you're meant to be up at the sunrise for Beltane, yes. and uh, we're, we're more nighttime people, so <laughs> we've never made it up there. Great, thanks very much, Rochelle. <laughs> no worries. Now, uh, Mina Brown, you've got a, a delicious-looking array of cakes here on your stall at the, the food festival, and I see from 